Cal, in our previous sessions, we looked at the count on strategy for addition, mm -hmm. and then we looked at the use double strategy for addition. Mm -hmm. In today's session, we want to look at the remaining strategy in our teaching sequence for addition facts to see how we can pick up these last remaining facts. So, so what are these, or what is this cluster called? Uh, we, we call it uh, bridge to 10, but there might be other names that people have heard, like uh, make to 10, use 10, something like that. But when, mm -hmm. it, but when we say bridge to 10, we mean using the 10 to help us, and that means one of the add-ins, eight or nine, has to be close to 10. The other add-in could be eight, nine, but it could be any of the other numbers as well. So if I wanna work out, let's say, uh, eight plus five, that's a fact we don't yet know, or mm -hmm. haven't actually covered in a previous strategy. We can say, well, eight's close to 10. I can use sum of five to make 10 and bridge the 10. And then add the balance. Add the balance on and it. I notice also that you could actually do it with seven. You could, you could do seven mm -hmm. plus four. Um, but at this stage, some of the children um, may have a little bit of struggle, but generally you can include that, that one with that cluster. Right, so our teaching sequence is to introduce, reinforce, practice and then extend. That's correct. So let's look at some activities for introducing the bridge to 10 strategy. Okay. What we're going to do first is to do something with concrete materials. Mm -hmm. And this is a, uh, a tens frame, or actually a double tens frame, which helps children quickly tell how many uh, is in each of the two add-ins that we're adding. So if we put some counters on there, I'll let you, I'll let you put uh, red counters. We'll, we'll, this add-in has to be close to 10. So you can decide either eight or nine. Okay, I'll do nine. 